Hi there. Welcome to the Dr. Akinde Breaks It Down video series. The reason for the name is that uh, I'm Dr. Akinde and I intend to try to help people understand uh, medical and uh, kind of basic information um, on, on a regular level as opposed to uh, um, uh, using medical jargon as much as, uh, as, much as possible. Uh, I think this is really important because uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, I meet so many people who aren't necessarily wrong, but, um, but could um, kind of get information better. Um, so I'm creating this video series um, with the help of many, many people's suggestions and things like that for topics that they want to hear about. I'm creating this video series to make sure that we really try to get uh, this information out there to people in kind of a casual way and in a way that they can understand generally. Um, it won't be perfect. Uh, there are going to be people with questions, there are going to be people with concerns, there are going to be people who have their own perspectives and opinions on it. Um, I, I welcome that. I welcome um, honest, open, uh, Discussion. However, um, I, I don't. I don't welcome um, nonsense. Uh, uh, I don't welcome anti-vaxxer things. It, it's just. It's not going to work. Um, I don't welcome um, things that are just so far out there. It's unsupported. It's unproven. It's unsubstantiated uh, uh, by general medical uh, science. I, this is. This is a for real legit. Uh, a medical discussion forum and uh, we just want to get it off the ground so let's start with this the topic of fever and before we start on this topic of fever please uh, click the link to like uh, subscribe and uh, hit the notification bell those seem to be the things to do on this type of uh, platform so let's start with the first topic Fever. So today I'd like to discuss fever. Hmm. So fever is this thing that that seems to get the ire of parents kind of all over the country and all over the world. Um, there are also um, maybe some cultural uh, significance uh, with people's response to fever. Um, and uh, it seems that, uh, you know, there's a perception that, you know, when, when there's fever, people should um, respond as if it's an emergency. Um, that's part of why I wanna make sure that I bring this information out, if you will, to the masses so that people understand that you don't need to panic for fever. Fever is a normal phenomenon. It's a thing that's a response to a body likely fighting an infection. There are other things that can cause fever besides infection, but most of the time, especially in kids, it's an infection. I am a pediatrician, so that's my perspective in all of this. Look, 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 I got a stethoscope and everything. So in, in children, uh, fever is likely a result of an infection and most of the time it's a viral infection but at times you can have fever caused by a fungal infection you can have it caused by a bacterial infection but most of the time it's a viral infection uh, and in kids you know some of them are too young to be able to express what it is uh, that's going on with them and I think given that given how young they usually are when they can't express themselves people very often have a sense of uh, panic uh, when it comes to fever. Uh, emergency rooms all over the country and maybe in different places around the world uh, can be packed with people who are just trying to figure out what's going on with their children uh, when they have fever, especially in the middle of the night. Um, so I want everyone to get a sense of calm I think um, when it comes to fever that doesn't mean ignoring what's going on or trying not to 
uh, do anything about uh, a fever. However, it's important first and foremost not to panic about a fever. So there's a lot of complex and complicated medical stuff uh, that I could use to explain it, but fever is the body's natural disinfectant. I think that's the best comparison that you can make. Fever is the first thing that the body has had. Well, maybe not the first, I don't know. But one of the primary things, the, the primordial things that the body has used to fight infection since ever. So before the invention of ibuprofen, aspirin, Tylenol, paracetamol, and other parts of the world, um, fever has been the thing that's helped the body. Now, with those medicines that I mentioned, those medicines are not antibiotics themselves or antiviral medicines, but in terms of healthcare and things like that, it's important to understand that fever has actually been the body's way of caring for itself. And then of course, and antibiotics as well were invented um, in order to fight infections um, and therefore leading to a fever uh, not being necessary as much. So generally, the first thing is the definition of fever. So a fever measured in, um, in international uh, metric units is 38 degrees Celsius or centigrade. And in the imperial units, it's 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit. Those are the same number. Those are the same um, value, let's put it that way. They're not the same number, clearly. Those are the same value. So that means that any number that is 38 degrees Celsius is the exact same number or the same degree of energy uh, for something that's 100.4 degrees. So fever is when essentially the body's thermostat, the body's uh, regulatory mechanism uh, in the hypothalamus, uh, right in the base of the brain over there somewhere, um, sends signals uh, to different parts of the body, uh, especially to white blood cells and things like that to make what we call cytokines, which are these chemicals that ultimately lead to uh, cell membrane uh, changes uh, there are uh, chemicals in the cell membrane that get changed and uh, eventually, let's just say, ultimately it leads to a fever being produced. Essentially, the body warms up. And the reason the body warms up is that the body raises the temperature after this kind of ebb and flow evolutionary battle uh, with organisms that um, it has turned out that people who were able to generate a fever actually survive longer. Um, the body raised the temperature because it essentially knows through this evolutionary battle that those who have a warmer body temperature to a certain extent actually were able to prevent germs from multiplying inside their body. So that it means that a higher temperature is not ideal for replication of germs, viruses, bacteria, fungi, and maybe even other microorganisms. So that said, the fever that a child makes or that we make is actually beneficial for us. It helps us in order to reduce our chances of having germs multiplying in our body and making us sicker fever is good for you. However, I do say this also, that yes, even though a fever starts at 38 degrees Celsius and it can rise, it's important to understand that yes, people get more uncomfortable, especially babies and children get more uncomfortable as the temperature goes up higher and higher and higher. So at what point then, this is one of the more common questions that I get, at what point then is a fever bad? When should I panic is very often the, the blunt way that some uh, parents ask me. And there's no number to panic for. There's no place at which 
all of a sudden a fever becomes dangerous. A fever isn't and can't become dangerous. It's, it's the body sensing within itself what it needs to do. And so it regulates itself. But it can rise. And so someone gets more uncomfortable as the temperature goes up higher and higher and higher. So you can treat a fever. You can try to bring the temperature down to some extent. You don't have to drive the temperature from wherever it is, 102, 103, 104, down to 98.6. Please don't. Please don't do that. You'll just be trying to feed a child medicine or even yourself medicine. Well, there might be some special exceptions. Please talk to your physicians about anything that you know is, is going on uh, medically for you in order to make sure that you know, you're getting the specific proper advice. I'm just giving information. This isn't necessarily medical advice because everything can be different for each of us. But my point is that you can treat a fever to make a kid feel comfortable. We treat fever for comfort. That's it. That's the summary. We treat fever for comfort. A fever is not going to kill you. Not the fever. It won't. And we treat it so that the kid feels more comfortable. Because what happens when a kid's more comfortable? Well, what happens when a kid's not comfortable? An uncomfortable kid is going to go, feel good. They're going to push you away. They don't want to drink. And now they're getting dehydrated, which kind of worsens everything because kids. So the next thing then is to treat the fever so that the kid feels better. And if they're feeling a little better, you take the edge off of that temperature, that fever. They actually perk up a little, feeling a little better. They're more amenable to drinking. And of course, drinking cool things helps. Because then you don't have to worry about using medicine to continue to drive their temperature down. And instead, you can just give them cool things. I mean, for younger kids, you know, Pedialyte popsicles, if if it's age appropriate for them, um, ice cream is fine. Milk is fine, um, unless they're allergic and things like that. But of course, you know, that's all to be taken uh, with a grain of salt. So treating a fever to help the kid feel more comfortable is the most important thing. And a fever itself is not an emergency. I can't stress this enough. And I know it might sound like things, is something that you've never heard before, or maybe you've heard it before, nobody's ever explained it, but I'm saying it now. A fever is not an emergency. I'm not saying don't go to the emergency room. If your child can't breathe, if somebody's face is blue, or if other things look like an emergency, a threat to safety, life, limb, health, yeah, you can go to the emergency room. Heck, you can go to the emergency room for any reason you feel like you need to, all right? But the fever itself is not the emergency. It's a protective mechanism. It helps to fight infections. And I know that this video is starting to get long and that may or may not have kind of sparked a million questions. But hey, this is a chance to leave a comment, um, subscribe, um, you know, just just engage. All right. So I'm going to leave it here for now and we can come back to this topic and we can come back to other topics if you leave other comments just to make sure that um, we uh, kind of get the things that are Um, more popular going, all right? So let's leave it there. And if you have any further, you know, topics and things like that, let us know. Uh, We'll see uh, what uh, other things uh, we can discuss. Thank you very much for watching and for visiting. I appreciate you. Take care. Keep yourself well.